Though the previous animation works fine, it is not so effective if we want to animate multiple ducks. So I am going to add object oriented feature to manage multiple duck animation easily. I will create a separate class for ducks, create an array list of duck objects and handle the animation in game view. By the end of this lecture, you will be able to understand the benefits of object oriented programming. So let's get started. Right click on package and create a new class. Name it duck1. Inside the class, right click, generate constructor, pass context as parameter, context, context. Cut the bitmap array declaration from gameview.java and paste here in class scope. Also cut and paste the array initialization code in constructor. Change get resources to context dot get resources. Next, cut this declaration from game view and paste in class duck1. Cut and paste the random declaration and instantiation. Next, cut and paste duckx, ducky and velocity initialization code from onDraw to duck constructor. For the initialization of duckx, we need to access dwidth, which is defined in game view. So just go to game view and make dwidth static. Now you can access dwidth from duck1 by writing gameview.dwidth put 1200 in next int for duck x for velocity put 14 plus next int 17 so the value varies between 14 and 30 cut and paste dark frame equals to 0. Finally, we need to define three methods in dark. Public bitmap get bitmap return dark within brackets dark frame public int get with return dark zero dot get with public int get height return duck zero dot get height next get rid of the unused codes from game view which is appearing in red
we are going to re-implement in a minute. Remove this line. Next, create an array list of ducks in game view. We are going to create two duck objects and add to array list. Java array list class uses a dynamic array for storing the elements. Basically, it can grow and shrink dynamically. So, go to game view and declare in class scope. Array list of type duck1 duck1 initialize in constructor duck1 equals to new array list next i am going to make two duck objects inside game view constructor using a for loop and add the objects in array list in the duck constructor we should pass context for int i equals to 0 i less than 2 i plus plus duck1 duck underscore 1 equals to new duck1 pass context duck1 dot add pass duck underscore 1 in on draw let's make another for loop and iterate through 0 to the size of array list for int i equals to 0 i less than duck1 dot size i plus plus inside the for loop draw the duck bitmap canvas dot draw bitmap for bitmap pass duck1 dot get i dot get bitmap for left pass duck1 dot get i dot duck x for top value pass duck1 dot get i dot duck y and for paint null duck1 dot get within parenthesis i is used to get an object from the array list with the index value of i increase duck frame duck frame plus plus check the duck frame number if it is over 8 we need to reinitialize it with 0 to start over the animation if duck1 dot get i dot duck frame greater than 8 copy this part and paste below and this should be initialized with 0 decrement duck x by velocity duck1 dot get i dot duck x minus equals to duck1 dot get i dot velocity finally check whether the duck is off of the left edge of the screen call reset position method in that case if duck1 dot get i dot duck x less than minus duck1 dot get i dot get with copy this part 
and call reset position let's create reset position method in dark class public void reset position cut and paste these three lines and put inside the method call reset position from constructor run the app in the emulator excellent now you are able to see two ducks flying simultaneously in fact in this technique you can animate any number of ducks you want so to recap i have shown you how to create a duck class create instance variables and methods inside this class we can then reuse this class when required for example if we create another duck class we can simply extend this class i have also shown you how to create duck objects and add to array list finally i updated the on draw method to draw the flying ducks next I will create another duck class and make the animation even more interesting. See you in the next video.